Hi guys, welcome to this upload here on Pace Pink Guitarist. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime when I do any videos for you guys. Only here exclusively on YouTube.com. Thank you ever so much as always. So, what I'm saying to you guys is a massive thank you for you guys. Keep subscribing, keep and supporting this channel. It's a massive, massive thank you to every single one of you guys that has clicked that play button. And if you have came across this video for the first time, Hit the subscribe button like everyone else has 185 subscribers since I've launched this channel. Now, obviously, I did an upload a couple of weeks ago on the BH90210. I managed to watch it by fluke. I already explained this in that previous upload. But, quite honestly, I've not been able to watch any of the other episodes. Thank God for that. But even though I stayed up to try, you know, it's worth trying for you guys. But I give you my honest opinion on that video, so you're more than welcome to check it out. Over 500 people watched that. I recorded that straight after it. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. Put it through my software to put it up and then went to sleep. Luckily enough, I was off on the following day. Otherwise, I would have been super tired for work, and that's a big no-no with me. Even though work does tire me out. Now, today... Uh, I just want to actually say before I get on to the main focus, I am so burned out over the last couple of days working on some custom Blu-rays that what I've worked on on myself through my TV collection. Uh, quite honestly, people may agree with me or disagree with me, but quite honestly, I've put loads onto Blu-ray so far. It doesn't look much on the shelf compared to how much shelf space it originally took. I've done the likes of Are You Being Served, I've done uh, The Good Life, I've done All in the Family, I had, to, I had that on my hard drive. And then obviously I'm slowly putting my hard drive to disc. I think I'm on the C's of, of that video, could be, could be wrong. But there is a few seasons, that I've, a few things that I've missed off because I want to do them last because they're an hour long episodes. And I'm working towards my wrestling collection, not what... That's coming this week. Obviously, that's not my work. That's off the website that I buy them from. I'm not giving the link out unless people want it. So they can make a purchase or have a nosy around, etc. Like that. Please let me know on that upload when I do upload that. And as well, for Love of Wrestling 2020, next year, I will be going to. I confirmed this in a video before. I will... Uh, just want to update you guys, I've actually bought all my photo shoots that I want to buy. So far, I've got Greg the Hammer Valentine, Onar Seister, IRS, I've got Trish Stratus, Tori Wilson, Steiner Brothers, and others, you know. Um, look on my Instagram page, at Gavai you're more than welcome to follow me on there. I, I know I post wrestling related stuff on there. But quite honestly, is that it just blows my mind that people want to interact with me. So you're more than welcome to interact with me on there. Please do if you don't want to contact me. Even, like I said, it's wrestling related. But you can always inbox me. My inbox is always open for people to do. And I can assure you, with the reflection of the light onto my backdrop. Well, my giant picture that I can't be asked to put on the wall because it's massive. To my shirt, it makes my shirt my, looks like I'm going grey. That's the optical illusion of things. Hey, look how white I look, and look how warm it's been. But that's another. <laughs> I look like a zombie on this video. I do apologise. Um, I can I actually say this now. My sleeping pattern's been proper messed up. Even though I'm on the morning shift tomorrow, <laughs> I have woke up at six o'clock in the evening. I've been a lazy shit over the last three days of my time, day, days off at work. What are you expecting? It's going to be a busy bank holiday. So I'm hoping by the time I get home from work, if I've got enough energy and my um, wrestling Blu-rays come tomorrow, which I'm hoping, um, I'll do an unboxing tomorrow. If not, I'll leave it on till whenever I'm free. I think the next day I'm free is next Tuesday. So, I do apologise if I don't in advance. Right. This came in the mail today. Obviously, I'm not showing you the other size. That would be just a complete other dumb shit if I did. 
Um, came in the mail today. I won these off um, Blu-ray Bullet Brick. I'm guessing this is what is in here. Because... I can understand delaying postage, man, with all your personal things that are going off. Like I always say to you, put your family first. And yeah, I was right. It was the the films that I won off him. Um, quite honestly, I've not got these in my collection, which I'm thrilled. Oh, he's being clever. He's being clever. Being smart. Being smart. It's quite funny though, he's put his mobile number there, the daft shit. His email address and his personal address. Proves I'm not going to stalk him, I'm not going to fucking what him call it. Um, stalk him as such. The only time I'll ever do stalk him is on his uploads. You know, when I do get a chance to watch him. I do watch a lot of um, Movie Mad, Blu-ray, uh, Bullet Brit, obviously. Um, what Movie 1, etc. You know, the usual... People that I usually like watching. Obviously, Blu-ray and DVD collector. He's getting some really good classics of late. Um, people, you're doing fantastic on your channel. Absolutely blown away. But he still blows me away when he gives these prizes out to his subscribers. Now, that's not... That's a good ploy for people that want to do that. I personally... Madly as it sounds, I can't afford to do it. Even though that I've got a good paid job, but I mean like constantly, constantly, constantly. I get paid monthly, that's why I can't do it. Seriously makes me look like I'm going great right there. I can assure you I'm not at 37. I've got no kids, don't need to stress. But anyway, um, the first film out the of uh, the bag is the international Clive Owen film. Highly underrated actor. I liked him in Child of Man, I liked him in a few other films I can't think on top of my head because like I've just woke up, brain fart, <laughs> but still, I'm looking forward to getting my eyes around this one, I've not actually seen this one yet, and I know it's an old rental copy, Pete, what I'm going to say is this, nostalgia, how many times do you not see these now on Blu-rays, you know, when you do get them second hand, etc, like that, they're coming more and more on like uh, the difference it's proper nostalgia for people like as their collectors i don't mind having them because it's got that nostalgia because uh, you've got like the many hours of viewing that's actually been on these and nostalgia you know because you don't go to a local place and rent them out now you know it's it's sad to see the way the things have gone on digital but like myself and other collectors prefer the physical stuff. You know, even though we used to go to blockbusters as kids like VHS and DVDs, etc. Hey, even Baybacks if you want to go that far back. But still, it is a nostalgia trip to have that. So I'm thankful for having one of those. One film I've not seen, but the weird thing about it is... I don't mind this guy as an actor. I liked him as um, He-Man, even though it's cheesy and corny. Hey, it's my childhood. Most 80s films was nostalgia back then. And watching back that, I need to get that from my collection. I can't come across it, but probably people link in the description below and blow me away with it. But I want to find it for a good price. From the producer of Die Hard and Lethal Weapon. Stash House. Dolph Lundgren movie. Uh, the only one I've got of his films is bloody, um, what do you call it? Rocky IV. You know, or Expendables if you want to class the trilogy, you're part of it as well. But I've not got many of his films, surprisingly. I'm a proper, proper 80s and 90s classic films. You know, when there was actually more story to them, etc. Like that. The more than the special effects. You know. I'm just wondering how they're going to do Matrix 4. Even though that was full of special effects. Ignore me. Ignore me. But if you know what I mean. It's just one of those things. If you are a nostalgia fan like me. You know, you got a bit of both nostalgia in this prize draw, Pete. I'm glad I fucking won these. You know. These have definitely gone to a good home. I just don't know what 
why all of a sudden I'm not saying it's you that's doing it you probably swapped it for one of your cases I don't know but I've not seen in the UK a thin case before never have only my um, obviously my Mission Impossible 2 Blu-ray cover and case that was not meant to be sold separately I got conned on that and that was the thin case granted that was part of the box set um, other than that cocktail that was the thin case because it was a US import you know because I've never released it in the UK why such a good Tom Cruise movie but I'm grateful to win these no, he does it goodness of his heart. Check him out. Oh, God. he's designed it like a, it's an all all in poster. I'm hoping that shows the right way. Otherwise, I'm making a complete fool of myself. Check out his channel, please do. Check it out. But into I sound like I'm check it out. Supermarket sweep. <laughs> I got that stuck in my head. My mum's been watching it on challenge. Anyway, but that's um, until next time, guys. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads here on Pacemaker Virus, but thank you ever so much for the people that do hit that subscribe button and obviously keeping this channel supported. And you know what else to do? Hit that bell icon like the 185 people that I have already. But until next time, guys, catch you guys soon for another edition or upload here on Pacemaker Virus.